welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Spotlight. Today I'm talking about the 1991 film, The Last Boy Scout. Go on, get in there. Wrong place, wrong time. Nothing personal. That's what you think. Last night I fucked your wife. Oh, you did, huh? Well, how'd you know it was my wife? She said her husband was a big pimp-looking motherfucker with a hat. Oh, you real cool for a guy about to take a bullet. After fucking your wife, I'll take two. The Last Boy Scout is directed by Tony Scott and is starring Bruce Willis, Damon Wayans, Halle Berry, and Chelsea Field. A private detective's client is murdered, and he and his client's boyfriend must search for the killer. The Last Boy Scout was filmed in 90 days, and it had a very troubled production. Conflicts and arguments flared between producer Joel Silver, Bruce Willis, and director Tony Scott. And even though they become friends in the film, Willis and Damon Wayans hated working with each other. Assistant director James Scotchdepole attributed the tension on set to an overabundance of alpha males on that project. He said in an interview, Bruce was at the height of his stardom, so was Joel and so was Tony. There was a lot of people who had a lot of opinions of what to do. There were some heated early 90s testosterone charged personalities on the line. It was a charged environment, shall we say. The Last Boy Scout was released December 13th, 1991, and it grossed $59.5 million on a $43 million budget. So the film wasn't the massive financial success they were hoping for. Critics were also a little divided on the film, and it's currently sitting on the tomatoes that are a little bit stinky at 46%. So what do I like about this movie? Well, first I feel this film is a great blend of both action and comedy. The film's got some really good outstanding filmed action sequences and it also has some great comedic moments. The comedy in this film also is well delivered between both Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans. Same way with the action. Not one of the actors is uh, you know the comic relief and the other one is the action guy. They both do a really convincing job of both really and what's strange is even though the two of them didn't get along and didn't really like working together the chemistry between the two is great. You really get the sense that these two are becoming friends as the film progresses, even though behind the scenes they probably just walked away from each other at the end of the, you know, the shot. Really, the only thing else I have to say about this film is, is that this is just a fun, over-the-top action comedy from the 90s that you may not have heard of. And if you have heard of it, good for you. You get a gold star. But if you haven't, you really need to check this movie out. This is definitely one of those turn your brain off and just shove handfuls of popcorn in your mouth. Let your worries go for about an hour and 45 minutes and just watch Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans shoot a bunch of assholes in the face. So if you're curious and you would like to check out The Last Boy Scout, well, good news, it's currently streaming for for free with commercials at our good friends at 2B TV. Now, if you don't want to watch any commercials, you can rent the film. You can currently find it on YouTube, Google Movies, and Amazon Prime. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's another thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.